Okay, welcome to the month of September. What a great day. It's like I don't know about you, but I have this bounce in my step. So let's have a look and see what this energy is going to be all about this month because it's coming in with karma. And I've said this before leading up to this particular month of September. Watch it. We've got karma. Now, with that, I'm seeing a lot of strategic planning with a lot of critical thinking right up until the 23rd. Now, when the 23rd comes in, I'm seeing that decisions need to be implemented, but I'm looking at this and going, wow, you know, like this means that things have got to be really, really balanced. So I know that what's going on out there in the world and the people that are in control um, are very, very like grounded, grounded people. And and everything that they do, it's like it's like playing a game of chess. And and with this game of chess, I'm seeing this that's going on, but I'm seeing sort of like at a stalemate. Now, what I say to people when they when they're dealing with business deals and things like that, or communicating with people um, and trying to get your point across. People feel very, very uncomfortable at the end of the telephone if you present something to them um, or if you answer back and then you just wait. And my advice is to them is just wait, just keep on waiting because the first person that speaks is the one that's gone right. They've taken the action, the one that hasn't spoken, boom, right, you're in control, you've got the power. I'm getting this very much so at this particular point in time in regard to what's going on in the world. So I'm getting this sort of like a stalemate sort of an energy that is going on, but I'm seeing, I'm seeing one, one side that has done everything, said everything, and is now just hanging on at the end of the phone. And what's taking place on the other side of the phone, they're absolutely losing their shit. <laughs> it's like, and they're just, they're just at it and they're just going into all of this different action, 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 action. And yet the one that's hanging on to the, um, the other end of the phone that is not saying anything is still not saying anything. And it's going to continue not saying anything because it's waiting for the others to absolutely like wipe themselves out. And I feel very strongly that that's what's going to take place. The, and this is why we've, this is with the, all of this, we've got all of this fiery energy that is coming in this month around all of these relationships. So I'm seeing things firing up and I'm seeing a lot of like bullying or manipulating from one person to the other or from one situation to another situation. So for all of us, and if this is applying to you, all I can say is just try to keep everything in balance with whatever action that you choose to take. Okay, really very interesting. Balance, balance, balance. Grounded, grounded, grounded. Now, as I also looked into all of this, I was told the one who looks like a bull will pull many rabbits out of his hat with the support of those who know who know what he's doing how he is playing things very very interesting now i'm also bringing in this this need of keeping emotions and idealism in balance and that's very, very important as we all go through this, this journey of this karmic month. And we are then awaiting number 17 that then steps into all of our lives and we step into its energy from the 1st of October. 
Now, that word, that energy is going to figure very, very strongly. And people that don't understand what the number 17 is, I'd advise for you to go and look up what it's all about. Now, still with planet Pluto in Capricorn, and you remember what I've said before, the planet Pluto Capricorn, business, money, governments, and I'm getting with that Pluto that went a retrograde back into Capricorn, that we're still going through overhauls to do with government, um, to do with the money, to do with businesses, etc. So it's time for us people just to sit back as much as we can and just live our day-to-day -day lives and and I know that with living our day-to-day -day lives is very difficult for people who are fully awake. But if you are fully awake, you just know what's going on and it's just like Groundhog Day, okay? Because we're just having to sit this out to what is going on and being played out. And it's being played out like there in front of our eyes but it's also being played out behind our backs all right so we don't know what's going on back there but there's um, a very strong powerful energy that is here and it's got to do with an overseas country and do you know what's really interesting i actually um was listening to something today and and it stated and i think it was I can't remember who it was actually, um, but the person said, if America works, the world works. If America is destroyed, the world is destroyed. So with those, with that lot of cards that I've got, it's very much to do with, we're looking at the powers that be in that overseas country. And I always take that as being America. And we've got a lot to do with money. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, do we have a lot going on with money. And it's going to bring a whole new cycle. But we do have a victory um, that sits over all of that with a lot of celebration. So expect some things happening around money. Uh, but the outcome of that, in the long run, they're saying, is absolutely perfect. Now, here in Australia, and I know England and I think Canada, um, Sound of Freedom will be there in September this month, okay? It's going to be launched over there. We've had it here since the 24th. I've been to see it twice and I'm going to go and see it again because I wanted to just pick up all of the little hidden things that was being presented. Very, very interesting, very interesting. And I wonder how many, many of all of you that are listening to this also picked up on all of these different things that were being shown in like a, like an underhand around the, around the corner sort of way uh, in that movie, as well as telling Tim's incredible, incredible story. Now, we do have... Um, a lot of change and there's going to be a lot of change here to do with the children okay and that's like I'm just that warms my heart like you wouldn't believe um, a lot of people have gone into isolation um, a lot of people what I got saw the move saw sound of freedom but saw it as a movie it's not a movie it's not a movie this is a real life story a real life story and I don't know how many people out there that have been asleep actually got that this what exactly what this was all about anyway mothers mothering energy around children so to me I'm seeing a lot more children being returned to their mothers a lot of children being returned to their families and it's like and that just like is it's thrilling but i also know the trauma that all of these little ones will have gone through um and but i know that the powers that be have got everything in place in regard to dealing with all of this all right now 
poof okay um so i also get that um all of the negative energy expected i don't know why on earth they expected this um they expected for us to actually turn our backs and walk away and just submit and it's like and it's not and i'm finding a lot of people are starting to question a lot of things so there are a lot more people that have actually woken up than those that are still asleep the balancing out of everything is going to be very important this month and mastering self-mastering is also another very very strong energy a lot of people changing work so they'll have different careers and here we are again justice must prevail so we're moving into the justice energy the justice must prevail and we're looking at changes to do with people with their homes so a lot of people actually choose to up and move and and a lot of people it would just be like an overnight thing they'll just wake up one morning and go right okay we're out of here right we're selling this place we're getting out of here where we're we going don't know but we just know that we just we are just getting out of here and again this month we've got the truth coming out the lies being exposed and i just watched something um this evening and it was about um joan river's daughter and and li linking that in with obama's chef um that was found drowned and they were talking about how this guy was basically like like an athlete he could swim he could so people are going like but he could swim and he was found in eight feet of water so like so again things are coming out as i said i've been saying this for a while now look at this look at that things coming out here things coming out there things being surfaced over there one person saying one thing another person saying something else so it's like it's all being fed out bit by bit by bit by bit by bit right now um i'm also seeing here um a lot of people now are like they're having to deal with all of the emotional hurt that they have experienced over the last three years a lot of um, parting of the ways with friendships relationships family so um i'm looking here at people who are wanting to to heal themselves emotionally and that's going to be a very very strong pull this month the month of karma uh, but also very strongly we've got it happening in the month of november which is the month of endings so it's like i'm needing to end and it's a it's a very strong number to do with the heart with the heart energy vibration so it's got a lot to do with healing and completing on things because if if people are not healed on that emotional level when everything is exposed then if they're still hanging on to that emotional hurt which is very very difficult to let go of um especially if there's been a lot of emotional pain that the person has actually experienced so around the month of november healing healing of the heart now i'm also um getting a lot of movement a lot of determination and it's coming again from overseas we are again it's talking about going through a rebirth so if you haven't changed yet if you haven't dealt with everything that you need to deal with the clearer you are emotionally the better your journey is going to be when all of the truth comes out and again it's not that far away because we're actually at the end of this life cycle that we have been living but we're needing to stand our ground being very very clear and just stating what it is that we want what it is that we don't want and just being wary being very very wary and it's about being very 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 wary of people who do not feel right and those of you that are listening to this that have had um 
their um, intuitive soul readings done with me, spent the two hours with me, with going through their charts and everything else, you will understand what it is that I'm talking about when I say when I say 90%. Now, with 90%, we're looking at in within that group, people who do not feel right. It just they just don't feel right. For goodness sake, people, please, please walk away. Walk away. Just very, very quietly walk away because there is a reason reason why they do not feel okay to you, why you do not get a good feeling when it comes to this particular part of the 90%. Now, do we have a lot of celebration? Absolutely. Are we going to be breaking from the restrictions? Yes. Is there a lot of um, upheaval before that happens? Yes. Sudden things happening, a lot of sudden things. The heartache energy is connected around that. But things are moving. Things are definitely, definitely moving. And again, I have to say to you, number 17 next month. Number 17 next month because things are going to start to go in a new direction. Battle over. Okay, all right. Battle over, but they're talking about the battle being over and that's got to do with money. So like, like next month, we're looking at that energy. We're looking at the karmic energy this month. Next month, we're looking at the money, the money, the business. So let's just... Let's just be prepared. Just be prepared. Because if you're prepared, have a guess what? When things happen, you're fine, right? Because you've got, you've got things covered. It's everybody that's not prepared that's going to find themselves in a really, really challenging position. Okay, so God bless us all and much love um, and speak to you on the 1st of October. Much love. Bye.